garlic isn't just a, a food that you could use to cook with. It's also a custom operating system for the RG35XX. And today, I'm going to show you how to install Garlic OS, and it's only going to take two freaking minutes, if you can believe that. Garlic is awesome. But it's not just for making everyone's favorite food, garlic bread. It's actually a really good garlic bread. Garlic bread is my favorite food. I could honestly eat it for every meal. It's also a custom operating system, Garlic OS. A, a great, easy, powerful, useful, beautiful emulation front end for the RG35XX. And I'm gonna show you how to install it today, right now, actually. Uh, are you ready? You are? Well, that's good. <laughs> Let's do it then. You will need an RG35XX retro gaming handheld console, obviously. You'll need a micro SD card of whatever size you want. I think a 32 gigabyte is fine, but get a bigger one if you want lots of PS1 games. You'll also need to download the Garlic OS micro SD card image from the link below, and you'll need to download and install three programs, 7-Zip, MIDI Tool Partition Wizard, and Boletta Etcher, which are also linked in the description below. After you install 7 Zip, right click on the archive micro SD card image that you downloaded and select extract a folder. Next, we need to flash the image. Plug in your micro SD card into your computer and then start up Boletta Etcher and then click flash from file and then select the garlic.img file from the micro SD card image folder and then click select target and put a checkbox beside the SD card drive. Make sure that you select the right drive or you will lose data. You have been warned. Then click flash. It'll only take a, a minute or two. Now, we need to expand the partition. After the flash is done, open MIDI Tool Partition Wizard and find your SD card in the list of drives. In the area representing your SD card, you'll see several partitions listed. Find the one that is formatted as FAT32. Right-click on it, then select Move Slash Resize. In here, drag the slider all the way to the right to expand the partition to the full size of your SD card. Click OK in this screen, and then click Apply in the bottom left corner of the program. Now, you should be able to see the SD card listed under this PC. You might see several drives listed or get an unreadable drive error. You can ignore those. Open your SD card drive and you'll see four folders in there. BIOS, CFW, ROMs, and saves. Copy your ROM collections into the ROM folders. You can even copy those over from the original SD card that came with your RG35XX if you don't have your own ROMs. And copy your BIOS files into the BIOS folder, which is actually optional. I, I think I didn't bother with the BIOS files and I've had no problems. And that's it. You're freaking done. You're good to go. Wasn't that easy? Yeah. Links to all the stuff you need are in the description below. If you want to know more about how to use Garlic OS or to know more about the RG35XX, you can check out my video review linked below. And also, I'll have a link for my customized Orange Onion Boy theme. That's linked below too. If you want to buy an RG35XX, I'll include a link to that below as well. And there's also a link to my Patreon page down there. <laughs> Just saying. And while you're down there, click the thumbs up button if you like the video. Or don't if you didn't. I don't care. That's it for me. I'm Tech Dweeb. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye bye. I could honestly eat it for every meal. You get fat. No, why would I get fat? Bread makes you fat. Bread makes you fat?